Hola, Manuel Barrera. Uh, you know, I have Google Meet and I practice. This is one of those times that I'm practicing. I'm not really sure what is happening, but if it comes out okay, I'll just do it one time. Anyhow, the title of uh, of the post is going to be yeah, white progressives are going to elect or could possibly elect John Whitmire. He was getting about 65 to 70 percent of their vote in precincts that uh, basically where they live in the Heights, Maryland, uh, Montrose area. And I'll be honest with you, I don't understand. I do not understand. John Whitmire, yes, he is a Democrat and he has supported most progressive things. Uh, but you got to remember, John Whitmire is in it for John Whitmire. In 2003, I believe it was 2003, when they left because of redistricting, John Whitmire came back. He wanted to keep that committee chair. Otherwise, they would have removed, taken it away from him. John Whitmire does things for John Whitmire. He has been working with the Republicans. He wants to be mayor that he will sell his soul to the devil. And Republicans are pretty close to the devils. You know, all you have to do is listen to Trump. And Republicans pretty much will vote for Trump. There may be some exceptions, but they're going to vote for him. Right now you have John Whitmire, who is running around with and, and will probably win with Republican support. Then you have five Republicans. You have Orlando Sanchez as controller, and you have four Republicans for the four at-large seats that are being contested. With District G in a runoff, there is a good chance that the Republicans are going to win the mayor, the controller, and the four at-large Plus, they also have two, District E and District G. They will be controlling the city council. They will be controlling the city council. Y'all are going to do whatever you think you're going to do because y'all think you're smarter than everybody else. After all, you're But you're not. You're not smarter. You're not smarter than black people. You're not smarter than brown people. And you're not smarter than Asian people. You're just as dumb or just as smart as we are. So keep that in mind when you go back to vote in December. But uh, I, I want to bring up some points on Latinos. You want to make Texas blue? You got to start thinking about Latinos. You know, Latinos care about a lot of things. Most of them are social conservatives. Uh, they're not necessarily pro-gay, not necessarily against it, but no different. They're helping to hurt themselves. I mean, you talk about abortion, you talk about gay rights, you talk about all those things. How does that put money in somebody's pocket? This first chart that's up, look at that. There are more Hispanic that were born here in Texas than there are whites that were born here in Texas. It went from 17% in 1990 to 25% in 2022. Whites went from 38% to 23%. Now you throw in the foreign born and others and you know, Texas is no longer white. So we can't say that the whites are controlling Texas. They're not. What they're doing is they're reaching out, especially to Latinos. Now this I got from numerous articles, uh, newspapers, Every white professional moving to Texas or Austin, the state is gaining two people of color for every white migrant. Think on that. 
two for one, two people of color for every white migrant coming into Texas. And this is from somebody down in the valley. You know, the valley went uh, pretty strong for Trump. You know, this is the same guy that came down those stairs and said we were all drug dealers, rapists. Uh, hell, I don't even remember all the names that he called us and how bad we are. But anyhow, this is what she has to say. It was a she. I was following along the family tradition. My dad is a hardcore Democrat. My father was really for unions. I thought the Democrats defended the union, Ms. Rivera said before I did. But then I started to research myself and found out that the Democrats are supporting witchcraft and child trafficking and things like that. And if, and if you bring things up like that, you get censored because it's a conspiracy theory. Republicans are going out and especially to evangelical churches and spreading all kinds of lies about Democrats. And what are the Democrats doing about that? What are the Democrats doing about that? This one, my family doesn't come from money. I have friends who are undocumented. I support medical cannabis, that's marijuana, she said, but I definitely think Democrats are pushing free everything, given the message there is no value in your hard work and that's not something I can believe in. Mind you, this, this are people taking things, free food, free education, free a lot of stuff from Libre. Libre is an organization that is uh, supported by the Coke Industries. Uh, so, and if you don't know who the Coke Industries are, they're a very big company. Uh, they tend toward the libertarian side. But this is what they're going out and doing. And who's telling them anything different? You know, not to, when I was working, a person came in and they asked me if I was a Christian or a Catholic. And I'm kind of like, did like, guess like I'm doing now. And I go, what's the difference? Well, Catholics aren't Christians because they worship saints and they pray to Mary and they do all kinds of things they're not supposed to do. And I go, okay, well, I guess I'm not a Christian because I'm a Catholic. Uh, Libre, I just mentioned them. They're good at two things, figuring out which Latino voter it wants to cast, it wants to cast ballots and persuading them to do so. In both cases, it relies on a sophisticated voter database that it has been improving for more than a decade through petitions, sur surveys, classes, and mailers. If most Latino voters regularly went to the polls, it would be harder for Libre to, pay them, to play the margins in a tight race. As it is, Latinos' low turnout, large numbers, and complicated political views make them a perfect Electra to cherry pick for desired results. They've been planning for years. Uh, John Woodmire, Republicans, they've been planning for years. And, and, and you dummies, you, you don't realize it. They've been playing it for years. They start thinking about what they're going to do years before. You know, Garza, who is one of the uh, Libre trainers and, and persons that uh, started Libre. You know, he says that he was called a traitor for, for his, you know, what he publishes. And then he goes back to 1972 and says that uh, one third of uh, Hispanics voted for a Republican. Well, you know, I'd, I'd have to look it up. 
and in 72, it's, unless it was uh, Ronald Reagan, Ronald Reagan did get a large number of Latino voters, but I have, would have to look it up. You know, some of the people are realizing what Libre is doing. I believe in God that wants you to do better. Gustavo Barrero, a pastor told me, stop feeling sorry for yourself, get active, prepare yourself, get education. Born in Colombia, Barrero leads a congregation of 1,000 Spanish speakers at Cosa Roca in Orlando. It's a win-win situation, Barrero says. Libro has the money to provide the services his congregation needs. Barrero told me that Libro's funds came from a very generous person our group of people with millions of dollars to help people who are struggling. And yet they don't believe that government should maybe help those people that are struggling. While they're taking money with this hand, they're arguing that you shouldn't be taking money. How do you argue with people like that? From the inception, Libre was not only a political operation, but also a community service and education. We knew that to get buy-in from the community, he told me, you got to be part of the community. Across the country, Libre has drawn thousands of Spanish speakers to his free GED classes, citizenship classes, driver's license courses, small business workshops, personal finance tutorials, summer camps. Did you hear me say the word? Free, free, they're buying. You know, the same thing that they say government shouldn't be doing, that's what they're doing. Democrats need to wake up and find out what's uh, happening. He says, and it's too late for you to stop us. We're in too many cities, in too many states. And they are, they're almost in every state, in every city. You know, I don't, I don't watch much television. My wife watches Spanish TV. And, you know, I've been hearing Libre, Libre com commercials on Univision fairly often. You know, and, and how is Biden's fault? The economy, it's Biden's fault. Uh, inflation is Biden's fault. That's what they do. That is what they do. And what do we have? We have pendejos from our own community that are pushing for a person that is uh, working lockstep with the Republicans. You have Silvia Garcia, you have Carol Alvarado, you have Silvia Trevino, you have Ana Hernandez, you have Armando Wally. Uh, did I forget anybody? You have some of those union people that are gay, that are ultra liberal over there consorting with a conservative Democrat. He's a Republican in a conservative Democrat's clothing. You know, and as I pointed out to them, you know, when you're union, it's, you're thinking of your pocket money. You're no different than any of the other Republicans. Or any, you know, you may talk your, your, liberal social views, but it comes down to money in your pocket. And it does for most people. Anyhow, y'all have a great day. Uh, I hope this comes out well, because I'm not going to do it again. Uh, and if you notice, my big mustache is gone. I'm going back to a goatee. So, hasta luego.